Good afternoon, good afternoon, good afternoon, everybody. It's Brother T here with VCR, and we got the tapes rolling on another cigar review for you folks today. It's a federal holiday, so I hope you folks are able to enjoy the draw on one of your favorite cigars. I am smoking one of my favorites. It is the Roma Craft Baca. It's a recent favorite, admittedly, because it was only released in 2019. It's an annual release by Roma Craft, and I try my hardest every year to get my hands on some. So I'm really excited. First impressions? Wow. For those of you that smoke Cameroon cigars, or Cameroon wrapped cigars, you're used to seeing them look very rustic. This specimen of Cameroon wrapper is just flawless. Okay. It has tight and visible seams, some visible veins. It's very firmly packed. It has a satin-ish finish, not quite an oily finish, but satin. Looks rich and very healthy in terms of what a cigar wrapper should look like. The pre-light aroma is leather, slight earth, a subtle sweetness, maybe a black tea? I would be firm on the black tea. It's almost smooth to the touch, a very slight tooth, and a very robust double cap. First notes you get out of this, wow. It's bready, almost doughy. All right, folks, we're approaching the half inch, almost an inch mark here. And the extreme, it was very forward dough, almost like a dark bread, not quite a rye bread, uh, certainly along those lines though of kind of a darky, earthier bread. Uh, so at initial light it was this very robust bread forward note. That settled down by and large to really a leather. A black tea and an almond. The band is what you'd come from to expect from Roma Craft. It is kind of a multi-layered band. Uh, albeit probably the most easily discerned uh, in terms of labeling. Some of the graphics or the wording kind of blends in with the background, the Neanderthal being a perfect candidate for that, where you really have to look to in order or to see really what the cigar is. Uh, the Baca doesn't really suffer from that. It's very bold print, contrast color on really almost a Campbell's tomato soup red background. All right, all right, all right, guys. Coming to the close of the first third. Ash is still hanging on. Can't kick it if we wanted to. Really excited about it. Just a testament to the construction quality. The notes that we're getting right now, still a very forward almond note. Cream, a slight dry wood. There's a dry fruit a raisin note in there. And the finish is really that of raisin, coffee, and wood. Uh, you could kiss my wife with this mouth. And by you, I mean me. All right, everyone. Opening the last third here. Some quick facts about the blend. The wrapper, as you've all surmised by now, is Cameroon. Binder and filler, uh, it's a secret. Uh, leave it to the folks at Romacraft not to disclose that. I wouldn't either. It's certainly a fantastic blend, though. Notes that I'm getting right now, almond, 
earth, a slight wood to a dry wood at times, and then a slight sweet cocoa at the end. Body is a medium, medium plus. Strength is a medium for me. All right, all right, all right, folks. Playing musical chairs with the sun a little bit for the purposes of trying to get the best filming uh, quality that we can. Almost given up on it. We got some shadows that are getting thrown. Okay, sera, sera. It's time to undress this guy. Time to remove the band. Roma crafts are notoriously hard to peel the band off, so I find it best just to slip it around the front and take it off as the entire ring. There we go. The kind of lighting we've been looking for. Thank the Lord. Construction for this cigar. Can't echo my sentiment enough with regards to the Cameroon wrapper. It's probably the finest specimen of Cameroon wrapper leaf that I've seen. The burn was sharp, slightly wavy at times, but to that end it corrected itself. Draw has been thick and dense, but the smoke doesn't leave an oil. You know how sometimes on a very resinous or oily smoke, it kind of coats your entire mouth? I don't get that with this cigar. Final tasting notes are really a black tea, cream, coffee, a light earth, and still a very much an almond stick. Just fantastic. For me, this is the most complex Roma Craft offering, uh, and so it's my favorite. Uh, previous to this, my favorite was the Neanderthal SGP. This is Brother T with VCR Reviews. Drop a like, comment, subscribe, all of these bits and pieces. I appreciate everyone tuning in. Until we see you next time, smoke them if you got them.